looking at the causes of coma today, it's not only an important topic, but also very commonly asked. Now, this is very easy to remember. So the word comma itself is the mnemonic. So comma can be remembered as C-O-M-A. So let's go on each of them one by one. So C basically stands for carbon dioxide narcosis. So the carbon dioxide narcosis or respiratory failure. The CO narcosis. That's easy to remember, isn't it? Now the second word in comma is O. The O stands for overdoses of drugs. The common drugs include alcohol, opioids, tranquilizers, antidepressants, and analgesics. So again, easy to remember. Now the third letter in comma is M. Now the word M here stands for metabolic. So what are the conditions included under the category of metabolic? Very easy. Diabetes, which can be hyperglycemia or diabetic ketoacidosis. Hypothyroidism, hepatic failure and Addison's failure. Very simple. So C for carbon dioxide narcosis, O for overdosage of drugs, M for metabolic. And the last letter in comma is A. The word A stands for apoplexy. So what is apoplexy? Apoplexy in general stands for any cerebral ischemia. So intracranial hemorrhage can cause cerebral ischemia from hematoma, head injury, a tumor, or an abscess. It could be an infratentorial in the posterior fossa by a cerebellar tumor or brainstem infarct or a hemorrhage. It can also be something like a vernicus encephalopathy associated with alcohol. Meningeal irritation can cause coma. Subarachnoid hemorrhage and meningitis are the common causes of meningeal irritation, which is also known as meningismus. These are the common ones. The other ones include encephalitis, overwhelming infection, and last but not the least, trauma. So as you can see, remembering the causes of coma has never been so easy. Just remember the letter C-O-M-A, and then each letter depicts some of the causes. C for carbon dioxide narcosis, O for overdosage of drugs, M for metabolic, A for apoplexy. We'll be posting more videos very soon. Keep coming back for more. Till then, bye.